Well, I figure it's time to continue on a little bit longer. We're re revisiting old dungeons pretty much at this point, and I figured that we'll go back to uh, the um, the Dominion port. Since I now have a pickaxe, I can use it to unlock stuff. So we'll do that after I find out where... Here it is. Okay, so... Okay, there's nothing in here, so that's a dead end over here. That's fine. There's that vault up here. I think I can probably deal with the uh, drakes maybe now. I'm going to have to if I want to kill them, so... Ow. They are a lot low lower level than me, at least. So that's good. Alright, so this guy's here. He's level 26, so he's like the same level as me now. Um, let's go with uh, a net protector to pin anyone over here so they don't come after me all at once. He resisted, uh, obviously, there. We'll do that next to blast him. We'll uh, trick shot him. Because I'll kill anyone over here if they are, you know, close enough. There we go. Yeah, these guys are just dying one shot. And if I want to, I can probably go over here and blast them. Blast them again. And there we go, everything captured. So this is a vault that I basically ran away from because I couldn't do it. And I didn't want to, you know, clear the instance because it, you know, get rid of his vault, so I didn't want to do that either. Now we're back and we're kicking ass, pretty much. And we're just going to try and modify this stuff over here, I think. I made myself a new steam gun in the uh, previous episode, so now I've got like this tier 3 gun here. So I got range 8. Before I got myself some good helms and stuff. Uh, let's put this on so I can basically seal it farther. So many uh, nice little rare helmets and stuff I'm making use of this time around. This is I'm really really enjoying this expansion because it really mixes up a lot of stuff that um, wasn't really mixed up in like the previous game. Okay, there's a worm in there. Nice thing about being able to see through these doors, you can see when bad stuff is going to hit you. Boink. And we'll come in here, we'll blast these guys. Boom! And... Boom! What did I pick up? Alright, we found ourselves a Dwarven Steel Steam Gun of Nature. That's another tier 3 weapon. Changes all resistance all for 2%. I get some um, resistance penetration for resi nature. Doesn't really compare with the other stuff I've got, but you know, whatever. You know, I wonder if there's a ceasefire talent somewhere in here that I'm missing. I'm wondering because, like, you know, um, I'm wondering if like a special talent that you can only get with that uh, with that gun or whatnot. But anyhow, let's go in here. Let's drop a net projector right there. That worked out pretty well. Alright, just more guys down here, right? So. There's the guy I just hit, the um, ice worm. We're going to stun him. Or kill him outright, that works as well. Fireproof coating, that's a new schematic. And then here's like the old, old schematics I don't really need.
So that's why it's, you know, this is a really awesome thing to get this Cloak of Daggers. I'm really liking it quite a bit. Alright, well, we're done with this vault, so let's go comp complete the uh, instance and be done with it. And apparently, I'm having uh, issues saving, apparently. So we'll have to wait for that a little bit. <clears throat> Overall, I guess I'll say at this point, by the way, I'm really enjoying the game, um, you know, pretty much as it is. The expansion, basically, here's some nice things to point out, I guess, while this was loading here. But um, gold, gold is actually sort of meaningful in, like, the expansion. I'm actually having to use it a whole lot more than I was, like, in the original game, where it's just sort of, like, you know, something builds up, and then you buy some items at the end of the game. Here, it's actually, you know, sort of useful. You actually use it to buy items sometimes. Um... Some other things to note, uh, the Gunslinger is really interesting in how it basically plays. You know, it's basically a ranged class, but you know, it's pretty well done, designed, enjoyable. Nothing too fancy. The Tinker system is kind of interesting, basically where you can make items and other stuff, and this is taking a really long time. Control Alt Delete. Let's see if that fixed this issue a little bit with the thing that was, you know, constantly generating there a little bit. Be really sucky if, like, you know, a bug is what's gonna kill me here, but whatever. Alright, looks like I can continue on, so let's get going. And we run into a troll aquamancer. I should pretty much, pretty much be able to walk through all this stuff here, so. Booty chest. We got spell crusher. You plan to trust and gain all this lovely stuff. I'm liking it. All the food you can claim. There's a troll captain. Alright, disciplinary report. Blackhorn the Brash, theft of personal qualities of Atmos um, Asaphin, 20 lashes. Swabby Grabo, theft of personal quantities of Shalorm wine, 20 lashes. First mate grape shot, improper use of a cannon, 20 lashes, demotion. Targos, killing crew of Tyra's supply ship in defiance of client's wishes, 3 lashes. No, payment received regardless, all goods retrieved and delivered accordingly. Runty, theft of personal quantities of Dwarven Ale, 11 lashes. Hamfist, theft of commercial quantities of Ogric Brandy. 50 lashes, doc pay. Dog took her to summoner. Disfigured another crew member. Punishment waived. Nope, determined to be an accident. Title Torger. Axel sinking a friendly vessel. 1,000 lashes over 5 days. Note, should be key hall, but we need all the aquamancers we can get. Lieutenant Gripshot. Impro improper use of a cannon. Free lashes to motion. Lady Lego. Skimming profits from loot sales. Free lashes to motion to punitive duties. 50. Insubordination, 10 lashes. Swabby uh, grog breath, insufficient swabbing. Loss of liquor privileges, that sucks. Cannoneer grape shot, improper use of a can. 30 lashes to motion. Pencil pusher pilgo, reassign grape shot to cannoneer position. 35 lashes, note, laugh it up for uh, up you insubordinate punk. Smokey, excessive use of fire on board flammable ship. Will not be allowed healing for wounds the same when um, when hat caught fire. Spotty grog breath. Violation of lost liquor privileges. Punishment waived. Note the foulest will he found is punishment enough. Sticks. Attempt immunity. Key hauled. Crab hide. Support of attempt immunity. Key hauled. Pegfist Pogga. Failure to report attempt immunity. Key hauled. Gunner bilge boat. Fry nursing, fry nursing with attempt immunities. Key hauled. First mate Braca, failure to key haul enough attempted communiers, key hauled. Captain Bloody Keel, excessive key hauling, key hauled twice. And Swabby Grape Shot, improper use of a mop, 50 lashes to motion. Wow, Grape Shot, you're something. There's our troll martyr. I realize that lore probably wasn't all that interesting, but whatever. Hey, Ferris Steel Amulet, one of my favorite uh, items. So it's a little bit late getting it at this point, and I think this is better for me. This one right here. 
Well, this does give quite a bit of uh, more movement speed, I guess. Let's see here. Less fatigue, more movement speed, less endurance. You know, I don't trigger traps versus movement speed, um, stats, fatigue, life regen, stamina each turn. I suppose if I need the strength, we can put this on when I need it. But for now, we can just you know put this on instead. And let's see here. I should probably start um, tagging stuff so I don't, you know, un lose it for rare reason strength. And Fury's Fury. Drag. Light. And there we go, that's good enough. Oops, I need to open that chest up. Anti-gravity boots. These boots seem to have been made by a creative individual who seemed to have decided that launching yourself through the air via a rocket qualifies as anti-gravity. They look like they will work though, probably, if you're very careful. All right, interesting. Add to the gravity boots. They give me pain immunity. They give me, um, it can be used to jump up to a nearby location within seven, range seven, blasting everything within radius two, bearing fire damage, uh, two tile knockback of jump point and within radius of landing point. These boots, blah, blah, hmm. Well, that's um, possibly worth keeping. Yeah, we'll keep it for now, I guess. They look interesting enough. And we'll just kill these guys easily enough. Oh okay, yeah, we got some gold, a thousand gold. Amass a thousand gold pieces of gold. Loot! I like me some loot. Alright, next level. And we're just gonna transmogrify all this stuff, I guess. I want to see if that means anything can be learned or what not. This is actually fairly interesting, this thing right here. This gives vision, but I don't think I really need it that much. Those are those crappy things right there. I don't care about them. The Minion Port Tower. As you enter, you see a door locked behind you. It's a trap. I've entered a trap. Oh no. Alright, so I've basically got this water self here. I want to see something. Do I actually have water self already, or is there a reason I don't have that? I don't know why it didn't pop up then. Water self, use. All right, we killed a thousand creatures. Back support, cool. Captured Yay Behemoth. This Yay towers over even the trolls. Blind rage mans its eyes. Well, we found ourselves an error troll. Maybe I'll we'll get some more vitality soon. Uh, use aura silence, and I shrug off my silence. But it's trapped in a net, so that's cool. Let's, uh, where's my styling shot? Starlet. Blast it. Stun it. Kill it. Get a muscle tissue. Behemoth.
Operations performed. With information provided by Sunny Day, we were able to secure an Allied Kingdom supply ship during the brief window in which it was unguarded, with no personal casualties. We technically broke our agreement. Targos has been adequately disciplined, but because the ship was carrying more useful materials than expected, we were able to take a hefty supply of troll-sized, or close enough to it, arms and armor, alongside lumber, furniture, and smaller starlight equipment which can be easily melted down and repurposed into something useful, before delivering the promised amount of cargo to Vapor Trail. Combined with the payment received from Sunny Day, we made a significant profit and reinforced our re relationship with Vapor Trail. Our relationship with Sunny Day is of no consequence, repeated business is, was unlikely. The last cargo ship I had sent home, the one with countless small crates in order to confiscate them all and hold onto them for further instruction, contains one crate full of you-know-what received as payment for our product received via Iron Foreign Smugglers. This crate is labeled 47C, disposed of the others as they are extremely thoroughly trapped. The exchange with Sherry Toil Toll was merciful uneventful, and the Groot's pride appear to be functional. With all due respect, boss, if this doesn't give me a promotion, what will? Our contacts with the Black Market of Magiel and other establishments of a safe trading hub for their activities has continued to be immensely profitable. In addition to providing us an exploitable means of getting objects of, other, of our choosing in Magiel, Vapor Trail has been an eager participant and we made a killing off selling Atmos um, Asimphans in the Alakina smugglers, as well as selling LVO wine brandy to them. I've been selling a shift full of our profits, useful metals, alchemical green slaves, back home on a bi monthly basis. Search the crew and make sure they haven't been lying in their pockets and key haul any of you catch. Crew disobedience and morale continues to be suffering from problems, despite regular floggings, but we're still retaining enough of them and getting enough use out of them. That said, feel free to keep sending sentence criminals our way. They're surprisingly productive as long as we give them enough booze and tear, tear, um, tear blossom. Alright, well, the troll is pirates. Oh boy, look at that. There's uh, Admiral Korbeck. This old troll stands in tall, proud, and somewhat orange clothing. It's clear he is an important figure. He holds in his right hand a wicked looking blade, and his left hand what seems to be an antique handgun. Let's uh, try pinning him. I think I pinned him. Blast him. Kill him. Kill him too. Alright, overall analysis. And we got frostbite too. Boss, if there's one thing I can't say, I can say, it's that you did make a mistake by part of me and my crew. The materials I've shipped home have truly been invaluable for our preparations. And the moment the top brass decides they want to start the invasion, I can start spiking the outgoing liquors and cherry blossoms with time delayed potions of your choice, crippling the allied kingdoms from within by starting a plague or turning every, every minor lawbreaker into a berserk madman. With nothing else, the you know what will be very useful when push comes to shove. As per your orders, we restrict most of our in intervention to sabotage the Allied Kingdoms, but I wonder if some amount of focus on the Orcs would be helpful. A bad of them have recently emerged from the Corp Peninsula, victorious over the Sun Paladins and the Atmos alike. We've lost contact with Sunny Day, and Vapor Trail has kept exports to minimum for fear of detection. If we don't do something about this soon, there may be, uh, become a bigger obstacle than the Allied Kingdoms. I wait your reply, and more dry meat. My crew loves this stuff, and the smugglers can't be uh, ours to bring us something so mundane. Alright, well. The structural weakness is right there, apparently. And Steam Tech Weaponry. Looks like we've got some uh, stuff in here. It's all like tier 2, but whatever. We'll send this home. And let's go in here. We're just going to quickly do this now because I feel like it. Um, I need to get more cunning for this apparently, so... Sawfield. For four turns, make small small saw circles around the target in radius 2, making any creature caught inside bleed for damage. Damage increase my spell power, or steam power rather, so we'll get that right there. Let's get this up a little bit more so I can get more detrimental effects off and get more life when I want it. Alright, it's bomb time. Someone set us up the bomb. This bomb was tailored to weaken the structural of the Dominion Port's tower. If placed at the right spot, it'll explode after 100 turns and destroy the whole port. You place the detonator, you have 100 turns to get out of, or be destroyed by the explosion. Use your raw recall. Okay, raw recall, go. And bye bye for now. Alright, so there's Frostbite, that's apparently Steam thing. 
Um, there's a wild infusion of duelists. It's got a fairly... Um, it might be interesting to use. We'll maybe keep that. There's some Curler armor. Eh, whatever. It's, it looks nice. I kind of like the idea of having the ability to see humans and orcs, though. That's kind of useful. We'll keep that. And just get rid of the other stuff. This is our land. You've destroyed a Dominion port. The trolls will not be a problem in the near future. Alright, so there's the destroyed Dominion port. So that's out of the way. You know, at this point, it'd probably be a good idea to go explore around in the Crimble territory a little bit, so... Maybe I'll do that now. I sort of, you know, left it when I saw the water, but at this point I'm higher level, so it shouldn't be as much of a problem running around in here, so... And yeah, these guys are undead, so they can wander around here easily enough. Apparently squid can too. Luminous algae, interesting. Alright, you know what? It's probably a good idea to um, maybe equip this just in case. Telly. Let's give me a little bit more light races of what this is going to do. Uh, you're going to hit me, but whatever. Alright, we're going to just do this. Yoink. Yeah, so this is a lot easier because I've got, like, you know, um, while I have no underwater breathing equipment, I can basically run around easily enough here. Without much issue. Uh, that's annoying. Uh, let's go with that. What the heck is this? Breach in the airship hull. What is this? Well, I can breathe in here, that's cool. Nectosh to one horned. A weird white hoof with two horns that curve over his head and spiral in a cone. The tip of his horn glows intensely. But slowly fading, to act, he acts confident, but his dying, his white eyes reveal panic behind him. Well, he's got to die. Uh, okay, so he's got some sort of, like, you know, powerful beam that I have to stay out of range of, apparently. Alright, let's, um... He's aiming, so I guess he can't move at the moment. Stop, stop moving. If this will be over before you can feel pain, stop. Alright, well. I'm not going to stop for you, sorry. Let's, uh. strafe a little bit, I guess. No, come on. Come on, come on. Just, there has to be something left. All right, there we go. Option unlocked, new race, White Hoof. A clan mentor has turned into necromancy when faced with imminent destruction. Ever since that they have kept to themselves, but the discovery of a strange artifact in a crashed airship changed their fate. One of them tried to assert control over the clan. A few resist and hope to free their comrades. You have helped free the White Hoof clan from the reign of Nectos clan um, can, uh, of Nectos can now create a new character of the White Hoof race. They have poison immunity, bleeding immunity, science resistance, no need to breathe. They have Special wife of talents, dead hide, lifeless rush, and essence drain. Alright, you always thought this horns looks kinda of strange, to be honest. Stup kinda of stupid to be honest. So this is a Nectosh. So no 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 
I can feel it running out. The voice spoke to me again. It said, warning, low energy. Less than 10 pulses remaining. And the energy that, uh, that once flowed so beautifully through his artifact is beginning to grow cold. No matter how much I beg and plead down in the lake, the unicorns will not come to me directly. Will not tell me why I'm, I've angered them or what I could do for them to keep my power. Was this power for mine in the first place? Alright, so 5 to 10 more uses. I need to think about how this is going to work. I've gone way too far to simply back out and act like everything should go back to normal. Hehe, <laughs> can you imagine? What do I do? What do I do? I can't keep stalling the conquest. I can't come clean. I can't win against the steam giants. I can't. I can't. Someone just told me the giants attacked the orcs. The orcs won. I, yes, I've got a way out. The orcs must be weakened, wounded, easily dealt with, or at least intimidated. My people march on Crook Pride. I arrange meeting with the giants and tell them the favor I did them. Give them back the artifact if I can get it out of my horn without blowing my head hand off. They'll shelter me, they'll give me my people land, they'll, they'll do something about that gives me a chance of not getting trampled by an angry mob. I'm sorry, Grabafa. Alright, well that's apparently what uh, this guy's all about. Here's some lanterns, apparently. Crappy lanterns, but whatever. So, that's basically what this guy's all about. That wasn't too tar tough. Alright, so physics of neck toss. What is this? This is basically a head item. Increases your maximum stacks of death momentum by one. So that's apparently for like the wood hooves if you want to use it. I'll keep exploring around for now. Explore what I can. Get what experience I can. I think this will be the last uh area for this week. This isn't so, so so fun that I'm able to basically, you know, showcase a little bit of what the um, stuff I feel not completed looks like when it's completed. Kill them all! What just happened? Well, I just died apparently. I didn't expect that to happen. Um, well, I died. Um, I guess I should see what tried to kill me here. Or what did kill me. So let's see here. Um, oh, that's what happened. David Steamy Orc kills David Steamy Orc. This guy pulled me. So he basically pulled me and I basically killed myself with my own attack there is what happened. Well, that's a, that's gonna be it for the uh, the steam gunner. But whatever, I unlocked the white hose, the side shot, the yeti. I'm quite happy about that. And yeah, one of my friends is uh, one of my, one of my friends decided to steal my name. I don't know why. All right. Well, anyways, that's gonna be it for um, the orc gunslinger. I'll have to keep coming back at this point, but for now we'll have to start off a new character. Maybe I'll go with uh, Yeti or the White Hoofs next time, but we'll see. For now, take care.